right, welcome back to this video. Uh, this video is gonna be a full light painting video of this Mercedes AMG, the C63S, which is a great car. So the first thing I wanted to show you was the frames I used. Uh, I do have the information visible as well. So you can see kind of the settings uh, that I had used for these photos. But for this stacking, there's only four. Uh, there's only four frames that I used. Uh, open them as layers in Photoshop. And the first thing I want to do, kind of a good practice, is to name the layers. So we have a background layer, we have the lights itself, we have the side, and we have the top as well. Now, the top lighting uh, did bring lighting to the top of the car, but it also added some, uh, some light to the back, which, uh, which I kind of like. I didn't plan it, but uh, I do like, like it there. So I'm going to probably keep it there. Um, so first thing we want to do is take the first three top layers, put the background layer on the bottom and turn these three layers to a blend mode of light. And we'll start adding mask. And what I want to do is just take a look through looking at each of the layers, seeing where the light is and seeing exactly what I need to kind of brush out. So adding a layer here to this, um, to this particular, uh, uh, adding a mask, I should say, to this layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that light, which would be the first step, the big light that's around the top. Uh, there's a little streak on the car here, I'll get rid of that later. And what we're doing is just checking where this light is, which layer it's on. Um, we'll check it kind of on and off a few times just to see exactly what I'm doing with the light and what information I'm cloning out here. So we're going to get rid of this background that's in the uh, in the windshield and through the side uh, the side window on and off to take a look. Now to get closer to this, we'll just use the pen tool, make a quick selection, make make selection. Point three, point two is probably fine for this, and deselect to get rid of that. Same thing, what we'll do is we'll make a trace here around the windows themselves. I may save this layer, because I may need it la later. Uh, just make it a selection so we can um, paint this out. And we'll stretch this, move this up here, over to this point. Windows are nice and easy to trace, not much curvature with them. And we'll connect this, and the final, the driver's side window, or I should say the passenger side window, sorry, and trace it around. No, nope, that's wrong. It's gotta go to the end here and up. A little bit of a curve here. And good, so that's connected. Now we'll use this tool and we'll make sure we have them all selected. Right click, make selection of point three again, and select Save selection, just in case I need this later. Call it Windows. And we'll get the brush again, and we'll start brushing out this uh, this little streak of light that I didn't want in the photo. Uh, on the sills, on the B pillar, on the C pillar as well, there's a little bit of streak. We'll get that later when we start cleaning things up, getting into a little, uh, little closer with the cleanup. But for now, I wanted to get these off the windows. Okay, so looking good. We'll zoom in, take a look. As you can see there, on the B pillar, C pillar, and D pillar, you'll see some streaks of light. So I'll clean those up later. Those are fine the way they are for the time being. I just wanna make sure I got all the light pretty much correct before I start doing some substantial cleanup on the photo. Uh, the back needs a little work. Some of the light here I don't necessarily like. So we'll make a trace around this so we can get a good selection. And we're gonna paint in black. And that's a little, uh, it's a little too much. So make this blend a little better. And I'll just paint here with this brush. Reduce the size, get around the Mercedes logo and over on this side here. So nice and dark, so pretty easy to, to blend this. All right, that looks pretty good so far. We'll zoom out. Take a full look at the photo. Okay, good. So we're gonna we're gonna merge these layers. I will make a folder here, call it car. It's just to clean up, make because uh, there's gonna be a lot more layers. So I want to be sure that it's uh, it's clean. I know exactly what uh, what adjustments I did on each layer. 
And the next thing we're gonna do here is a little cleanup. So we're gonna have two layers. One's gonna be for cleanup of the car and the other's gonna be what I'm gonna call the ice light layer. And this is where I'm going to add some of the light and I'll quickly go through, and this is cleaning it up um, using a combination of the clone tool, the patch tool as well. Just get rid of the little blemishes that are in the car, little bits of dirt, things that are easy to clean up that make a big difference on the end. Good. Now, this light here, it didn't necessarily go all the way to the end. It looks a little sloppy, so I wanted to clean that up. Making a very, very thin layer here with the pen tool. Go past that so it doesn't click together. It's good enough. And click that. Right click. Make selection. Point 0.2 again. Point 0.3. That's uh, fine. It's, it's probably good. So um, we'll sample a color from the streak here and just paint that in. And once that's done, we'll deselect. Looks a lot better. A little more extended cleanup. Looking at the back here, there's some lights that, um, that I don't like. Take out a couple now. And the same with this streak near the end at the top of the trunk. Want to connect that as well. So we'll complete this light streak. Sample this color. And again, fill this in. That's good. It's perfect selection, really. Okay, that looks great. And we'll select the pen tool again. And the same here, these, um, these rear exhausts on the left side getting a little lost. But also the, um, the, real, the rear portion here near the bottom is incomplete in terms of lighting. And again, same thing. I want to make a selection here and make sure that um, it's all connected and that the entire bottom is lit. And take the brush tool again, sample a color and paint it in there. Now we could have a, a bigger brush. I could just increase the size of the brush easier, but it's fine, it's a small area. One more selection here. This was look, looking a little sloppy. I'll make sure I have a nice continuous light here. All right, good. And we'll paint that in. There, looks pretty good. Kind of needs a little bit more. Let's continue and connect all of this. Always right clicking, making the selection. You're either using 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 is usually pretty good. You don't want zero, it's gonna be way too sharp. I wanna add a little bit. Same thing with the bottom. And these little adjustments here do make a big difference with the final photo. Takes a little time, but in the end, it's gonna look great. Okay, moving along the wheel well, do the same thing. Give a little bit more definition so you can make out some of the features of the car. And we'll paint this in as well. Around this uh, V8 by Turbo emblem that's on the side, it does have a little definition on the actual car, so I wanted to bring out a little light for this. Paint that in, and near the top, let's do that as well. Okay, a little cleanup. I think there's some little spots here I probably missed. Take another look around the whole car, cleaning up some of these little lights that were reflected and some other blemishes that uh, looks like I missed. Uh, we gotta go down. I did miss a little bit of light on one of these layers. All right, so this light, the uh, rear tail light, you can see there's a little bit of light that bled over into it. Um, do my best to kind of take that out. Okay, it's a little too obvious. Paint in these corners. Um, see what it looks like with it on, with it off. Uh, it's okay. It's gonna look a little better. Reduce the size of my brush. That's a bit better. Make sure these lights are shining through. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, looking good. Let's zoom out. And back in, we'll take another look around. The back has some reflections I could probably get rid of pretty easy. Add a little bit more of the, uh, the light as well. So you can see some of the definition of the rear of the car. And this back window. It's getting a little lost. The window blends in to the D-frame. So I wanted to, or the D-pillar. So I want to make sure there's a little bit of definition to separate the two. So making a selection around the window, I can faintly see it, which is good. It's pretty easy to guess the, uh, the shape of it, though. And again, use the brush and sample color near the light and paint in the light. Deselect. Looks good. Zoom out. All right. It's looking great so far. Now, I'm going to add another layer here, and this is a cleanup. And now, this cleanup is of the background. There's little bits of, of dust and sensor stuff here. So we'll just quickly go through this. Um, but I did take some time going through this cleanup because there are little bits. Now, if you're looking at it, um, unless you're zoomed in completely, you probably won't notice a lot of them, uh, but it does make a difference. So especially with the ground here, some of these areas are just easy to clean up and it just makes the photo look so much cleaner by taking the time to clean up some of the background blemishes. Next layer we're going to do here, um, the smoke layer using a smoke brush. And this is going to add a little bit of light balance to the car. And I sampled the color from the tail light, so we can have a little light here. Now I'm going to sample. No, that's too big. One sec. And I'll sample a color here from the headlight because it wouldn't be obviously it wouldn't be the color of the tail light. We'll do the same thing. Patch a little bit here with this uh, the smoke brush. Good. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We'll go pretty high with this. That's good. We'll try that. Drop the opacity to zero and increase just so we get a little bit of light, not too much, not too noticeable, but enough to add some color to, uh, to the photo. And we'll add a layer mask to this smoke layer because always a little bit usually goes on the car. I could have made a selection all around the car. I didn't do it. I probably didn't really need it because this is the only time I'm really using this. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Make sure we got it all. All right, so that's pretty good. And the next layer, what I wanna do is add a little bit of light to the tail light, kind of a little glow to these lights. Same with the headlight. We'll try this. I like the headlight. Now, this looks okay. I think it's actually increasing the tail light a little bit too much. We can stand a little, I don't know, it's because I'm just looking at it or it's a little too much. I uh, will keep it like that. So color balance, uh, add a little blue to the shadows. I find doing light painting with the um, auto white balance that it's a little warm. I don't want this. I'm going to try this again. So we'll keep the color balance. We'll put a new layer. Uh, let's name this tail light lights. Make a little selection here. Make it look like a, with a little bit of haze in the photo. We'd probably see some of the headlights. So make a selection. All right, point two, probably want to increase that quite a bit to give it more of a blur around the corners. We'll grab the brush, increase the size, and we just want a little bit. Looks pretty good. A little too strong. Opacity to zero, and we'll just climb from zero so we get to something that adds a little bit of the headlight, and we'll also add a little bit of blur. We don't need it that high for this. Just want a little faint outline of the headlight. Okay, good. Add the color balance again. Last thing we want to do is a curves adjustment. We'll play around with the curves and just get a quick adjustment here. And that's it. So that's a full kind of light painting walkthrough of, of the Mercedes C63S. What I did with layers, how I named them, and what I did to each layer and what kind of processing I did with the photo. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.